Well, we're very fortunate to be involved in this historical year. Uh, the Swingles started in 1962 and had their first album in 63 when they really became famous. Well, there's sort of an ethos behind the Swingle sound. Um, it's changed over the years uh, and the feeling behind it is that we have to perfect our blend uh, and we want to always be on the forthcoming acapella music and sometimes not acapella music which I think throws fans for a loop sometimes but uh, our our aim is to continually work as a seamless group and also be the at the forefront of acapella music <laughs> Swingle still lives in Paris with his wife Francoise. We don't see him very often because it's hard for him to move around now, but he's still very much a part of the repertoire that we choose, the direction that we're going. We haven't had a rehearsal with him recently, but we send all of our new arrangements and new original songs to him sort of for approval. And I think at this point he's just pretty happy that it's still going. <laughs> It's really impressed upon us the importance of being involved in festivals. Not only does a festival allow you to um, take groups from different parts of the world and focus on different aspects, um, you get to see a variety of groups and, and of musicians and I think it's really important that we all come to one place and participate in this together. We're strengthening the musical community. Oh.